Uh, but it is time for our headline segment. You want to go first, Mr. Headlines Guy? Yeah, I let can. Me, let me set the stage here. Uh, you're a newspaper guy. Pito is a newspaper guy. And here's where we try to uh, predict what the headlines might look like tomorrow morning. Going out of the area on the first one. Okay, good. Going, going to go out of the area. Anderson County over Clinton tonight. Yep. 51-47. Mason Phillips. Sophomore, sophomore tailback. Okay. He's a sophomore. He's young. He carried the ball 40 times in the game. It's not heavy. 40 times. It's not heavy. It is if you carry it 40 times. It's high reps. Okay. Right? Okay. For 290 yards and five touchdowns. That's pretty good stuff. Uh, that is a, uh, a, a inter-county rivalry. They're, they're separated by six miles. Uh, Anderson County has won that rivalry game for about seven or eight years in a row. They've had to score with less than a minute to play to win it tonight. All right. Uh, Here's one for you. Uh, Tanner Green of Middle Tennessee Christian, 157 yards in limited time. Five touchdowns against Pickett County. Middle Tennessee Christian rolls tonight. Smyrna over Siegel, 41 to, uh, or excuse me, 45 to 7. The Perkins kid for Smyrna, 100 100 plus yards and four touchdowns and a half of Mm. football. That's uh, that's Stiles' big red onion, ain't it? Uh, okay, keep him in there. Yeah, got to run the stats. Uh, Lawrence County gets a win in the Van Johnson Cup, twenty-one to seven. But they had seven turnovers tonight. Seven turnovers for Lawrence County. They're going to have to clean that up uh, when they return to region play. Yeah, they they are. They're going to get Tullahoma in a couple of weeks, and that's going to be tough for them. Sequatchie County. <laughs> <laughs> beat Bledsoe County. Oh, what's big about that? Twenty-one to nothing in the Battle of the Stump. There it and is. And the fact that we and I just got I've got all kind of headline ideas for that. Yeah. yeah. Um. You know, all kinds of cool ones that we can do, and all kinds of cool ones that we shouldn't do. But I, I think that that's awesome. And we saw the picture. Yeah. You know, there is a stump that There's they a... trade back and forth. You but, have to win two years in a row, right? Yeah, but you got to win two years in a row. And I don't know if it was two in a row for Sequatchie or not, but. Twenty-one to nothing, uh, but uh, uh, Sequatchie in the battle of the stump, and it, you know I just, you know it's good news for them. They win a big rivalry game, right? Yes, sir. Uh, speaking of turnovers, uh, Oakland quarterback tonight threw his very first interception of the year. Andrew Mahaffey of Coffee uh-huh. County with the interception for Coffee County, uh, the first uh, Oski. Say what grade is Oak- yeah. Say what grade he's in. Oh, he's a freshman. He's a ninth freshman. Grader. That's nice. He's, yes, he is. Uh, a lot of freshmen got got the field tonight. Coach Ski, uh, I mean, he's he is committed to building for the future, and a lot of freshmen hit the field tonight for Coffee County. But the first uh, Oski of the year, uh, and uh, and uh, Coach Creasy of Oakland gave him mad, mad props. Yeah, he did. And I don't I don't think he knew that he was a freshman either, right? Uh, it's uh, brick by brick, brick by yeah, <laughs> a little bit at a time. I've heard that somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's painful. Yeah, it's, it's painful. That, that's getting tough. Uh, Dylan Jean, Lincoln County, three touchdown runs tonight. Lincoln, Lincoln County. County. I was going to talk about them, but not about that. Did you, they, in their last three weeks, they've outscored opponents 131 to 20. That's that's good. 131 that's a, 20. They've scored 40 plus in four of their five games off those four wins. Obviously, that's, that's impressive. That's pretty good. Richland goes for two uh, <laughs> late against Frank, uh, Franklin Grace. And they fumble the snap and oh. do not convert the two point conversion. Tough break tonight. Uh, it'd be like Ole Miss, just just chunk it up, something like that. And uh, it would be. Uh, I got to listen. I got a chance to listen to that broadcast. The the uh, the guys on the X Sports Radio Network do a good job. Uh, that was a uh, a tough loss tonight for Richland. Tullahoma and Giles County both zero and six this deep into the season. Don't know when the last time that happened was, uh, but it's got to be some kind of history. Yeah, not a headline, perhaps. Nah. It's just maybe the pain continues. Would that be the the, the, the headline in Pulaski? Tell them the pain continues. Pain continues. That could that be good. Oh, one. six. That's yeah. uh, that's tough. It's deflating. That is that is deflating. Uh, unless you're in New England, and then it's just it's physics. No. Uh, oh, I see what you did. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is our headline segment. I want to remind you that we'll have that and all of our coaches' uh, interviews and media interviews up online this weekend. Uh, just uh, follow us on Facebook and uh, the Twitter, and uh, we'll uh, we'll have that up there for you a little later on. The executive producer of Friday Night Thunder is Rob Clutter. I've got a new phone. Uh, the director is Brian Markham. Our associate engineer is Keith Kinzer. Our scoreboard producer is Danny Catalano. Our telephone and stream producer is Andrew Turner. The scoreboard host is Josh Peterson, and I am Dennis Weaver. 
Thank you for listening to this edition of Friday Night Thunder. Check out our website for information, features, uploads all week long. Visit FridayNightThunder.com. Until we meet again, have a wonderful weekend and a good night. Go Vols!